welcome back everyone it's a tier 9 game in the new 9.18 release on uh, wow, I this one. Oh, oh. anyways i'm sure i recognize the map but it's the map of the magical forest ah meryl vanka there's the name of it and well let's just say the new light tank matchmaking has made the m4190 a very very happy light tank so i have actually changed out just before this battle my ammunition outlays. So I'm not carrying 18 AP and 18 hep rounds, which is more hep rounds than I used to carry. All of my 10 heat shells. Those hep rounds are proving to be really, really, really lethal. 102 minutes of penetration, 320 alpha. The freaking thing this tank now is a serious damage dealer. And this match, there's only three tier knights. One's a T5041. He could be a little worrisome. One's a, uh, one's a, a T49 and one's an artillery. Nothing to really get too excited about. Most enemy tanks are looking at anyone else that they can kill. I don't have success with this tank yet. It's actually got my Leopard crew, the Tier 5 light tanks. I'm trying to get them six cents. And here's my first customer. One of the new Marine 40 tons. It's the old Marine 40 ton, but it's the new, it's now a new finish. Here in the premium tank, rather than being their Tier 9 mainline tank. And I'm being very cautious here because I don't feel like they have a lot of support. There's a single Panther tank and a single SU 2244, and now there's T44 here to back me up. It's just not a lot of force for a place that usually has a lot of tanks. Oh, there's another tank. Oof, that was lucky. Alright, but still, light tank, trying to spot for my team, trying to find a place where I get my gun into play. See, the 44 is having a little shootout with 34 once. I said, alright, he's pulled back. I'm pretty sure I'm off the radar. I'm going to come over here, line up the shot, and I'm going to try and put a half shell through the front of the T-34-1. A little too far back, unfortunately. His tracks catch it, and I'll do much damage. It doesn't even track him! Most annoying. <sighs> well, you know, go back to... Wait until we go off the radar. Oh, it's the little rain. and get punched around with him. No, there's a 4202. The odds are looking worse and worse here. Uh, yeah, maybe I should shoot a little better than that if I want to actually help battle. A 40 ton. What? The 40 ton doesn't have much armor. Drop a half shell on, but the first one just hits this commander's axe over the critical. Next one, much, much better. There's a full penetrating hit for over 300 damage. T44 is bravely fighting it out, but yeah, that was never going to pen. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking it's time to get out. Oh, T49 flanking us. Tier 9 light tank must destroy. Ow, 4202, gun hurts. There, take that. Oh, you're on fire. Please burn to death. Please burn to death. You don't need your tier 9 this. Yes. Don't need your tier 9 this uh, messing things up. So I'm starting to run when suddenly a whole bunch of friendly tanks come charging in from the right side of the screen. I'm like, oh, reinforcements, we can do this now. And I immediately wheel back around looking for fresh victims. Now, of course, it takes a few minutes to reverse. They all work on one way and I was going the other. By the time I get here, it's pretty clear my team is just sweeping in. in butcher these two tier 8 medium tanks. The first thing they can go for the lorraine because they got hep loaded. If I shoot him, I'm much more likely to get penetrating hits. But the RU251 isn't interested. Alright, well, cool. I have round Mr. 4202. Now we load some armor piercing. Yeah, I'm behind back here. I probably could have pended in hep rounds, but I'll save those for better targets. Well, now he's now I've got his full attention. The A44 comes and tries to <laughs> help me out here, but well, that's alright. I'll play on defense. Alright, well now I've gotten a breakthrough, so I go back and first, make it look like I'm thinking about going back to spotting. In reality, well I am going to be spotting, but I'm not going to be spotting from here. I'm going to go down the 990 line here. I'm going to try to find something for my team to kill. I'm pretty sure I just heard something shoot at me. Oh, look, a sweet Norma. Have some hep. Some more hep. Um, ow. Ow. There's a scorpion up there. Ow. That really hurt. Ow. There he is. Uh, over here. Have some hep, Mr. Scorpion. You don't have much armor either, of course. He's not shooting tracks. I don't dare stop moving, but he's gotten distracted. He's shooting other people now. He thinks that someone else is going to kill me. He takes the opportunity to move in close. You know, this is really dangerous because he's a really scary tank destroyer. And he's pretty fast. I'm still faster. Sweet! Alright, well I have no health now, so I'm going to be playing this team much, much more conservatively. But I, I've managed to clear this flank all the way up to the base. And now I'm looking to see there's two enemy light tanks that are threatening to go to the center and take my base from there. Now it's possible my team can handle that, but I decide that, well... 
maybe... Yeah, I'm not going to rush the woods. The artillery are definitely on there. They're going to be pointing their guns way this way, and I have no health. Even in here, there's from the artillery, despite its new state, will probably still kill me. So I'm going to go and try and kill with those light tanks, even though I have no health whatsoever. Because I'll be attacking them hopefully from an angle they're not expecting. So I back away to make sure I'll stay out of view range of anything that's hanging out near the enemy base. And go soaring in, hoping first to kill the hawk and then deal with the spec. Someone else gets the hawk first, which is cool, so I'm just closing on this whole spec. Now he's got enough health to take two shots of killing him in half rounds. But you know, we're kind of okay with that. So, that's most of his health. Now he back away into hard cover. Shot by him. And I'm just kind of playing around back here because I'm actually trying to convince him that I'm moving away. See, the SU-122-44 is going for a flanking shot. I believe he'll get him, or he won't get him, but Spec will get him, and then I'll have a chance to pop out like this. And off. There we go. And then you'll move some more hard cover to try and avoid potential artillery fire. Then he's just down to one tank destroyer, two artillery. Looks like he's pretty much in the bag. I've still got a couple half rounds, and Stir Mule does not have much armor. So I'm going to follow this IQ and like be in, because, well, with the two of us, I'd much rather he be the one to get shot. Besides, there's a small chance that he'll survive being shot by the Stir Mule. Well, okay, maybe not. That's alright, he's got a really long reload. Oh, it did depend on the first one, but that's okay. Long reload, just kind of like, one's pretty good. That one's much better. Out of heaven, switch to switch on knife and armor piercing. He is my insane maneuverability. Mobility just completely out of the tank destroyer. And there we go. Nifty three tries for the kill. Thankfully, he misses. Now, just the 12 left there. He's always got no health. Try to get the lock on here. Missed the first shot, whatever. He's frantically turning, trying to keep his gun on. He's going to kill me, but eh, not so much. So that was a bit of a high level Indian 41 there at the end. Uh, but frankly, I, had, I was playing this game so fast, I wasn't even really sure what was going on. But let's take a look at the post-game stats for this one. So here is the team stats for the uh, the battle I just watched, and holy smokes, what a crazy match that was. Um, 3,672 XP, 125,000 credits made on my high-caliber top gun with a mastery badge. Um, <laughs> just really, really, really silly now what you can do with these new light tanks well this is actually an old light tank which i think is why it's so hilarious right now because it didn't undergo the testing that some of the other tanks did or if it did they didn't bother to change it and now it's more than a little bit crazy think about this <laughs> 4550 damage in a tier 9 game but because there were only three enemy tier 9s didn't have really too much to worry about this is effectively in some ways still a, a plays like it's one of the old light tanks that was meant to be facing off with tier 9 and 10 vehicles this is mostly everything I was facing off here, where it's here, 8 and 7 vehicles. Well, hilarity. 1,632 base XP is good in anyone's, in anyone's book, I would imagine. Not so go team didn't have some, some good players. Their spick was actually on a pretty good match. His damage looks low. He did a lot of good spotting for his team. Um, the FB4202 put up a good fight. The, the Hawk put up a good fight. There's actually a lot of tanks here that did really well. It's just that, fortunately for them, <laughs> they were... Well, they were playing about the same as the rest of my team. Just that I was up there going nom 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 on all the tanks. That Scorpion, uh, who, you know, he, he made 1300 damage, not too bad. Uh, and he finished me off. And he stayed focused, finished me off. He still probably would have died. But with my tank out of the game, I don't think I would have been able to rack up nearly as much damage and my team probably would have lost. But, you know, maybe that's too much back padding. Let's take a look. 24 shots fired, 21 hits, 20 pens, 4,550 damage took three hits amazingly bounced one shot from what was that the t 341 that was a uh, very very fortunate that, that bounced off my match would have been very 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 different and a lot shorter um traveling 5.38 kilometers 105,000 base currency after all repairs and resupply and consumables come out with 107,000 credits which is good because i was actually uh, basically playing this in my type 62 non-stop for almost two and a half hours just to grind out credits because i unlocked the Centurion Action 10 a few days ago. You'll probably see that in another video. That hopefully is already up by the time you take a look at this one. Base experience was 
well, 1632, go through the premium account, go on to the mission complete, which is adding 50% onto all light tank experience whenever you win. Plus, it's a, I get a bonus because it's a premium vehicle, 4,162 experience to help my crew advance 122 free XP. This crew's almost got six cents. We're at 97%. I'm really looking forward to getting six cents on this crew because I think it's my tier five leopard. And I kind of want to have six cents so that crew can then continue their advance towards, hopefully, eventually, the new German tier 10 light tank. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed watching that match. Good game and good night.